Hello my friends, we're back with the reading of the Medium's book and a book written by Alan Kardec and the Spirits. And today we're gonna ask the following question to you and to the book. The, the questions are the following. Um, where is the need of a medium? Can't the spirit act alone? Hmm. And the book says the following. When we had arrived at a knowledge of the nature of spirits, of their human form, of the semi-material properties of the pair spirit, and of the mechanical action that the pair spirit can exercise over matter, when we had seen their fluidic hands, often as tangible as human ones, taking hold of various objects and carrying them about, it was only natural to infer from all this that the spirit simply made, a, made use of its hands when it turned the table, and that it raised a table into the air by the action of its arms. But if so, where was the need of a medium? Hmm. Could not the spirit act alone? The medium, as we know, often places his hands the wrong way to help the movement, and sometimes does not even put them on the table at all. He, therefore, cannot assist the spirit by any muscular action. How was this difficulty to be explained? We will let this question be answered by the spirits, whom we have interrogated in regard to it. But we're going to check this on the next episode. <laughs> we stay here for today. I hope you guys have liked this reading as much as I do. I leave you with a big kiss. God bless you all. Bye-bye.